Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about street art, like this guy here, and my favorite street artist, Nathan Bowen. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt and I'm a high performance coach based in the UK. And on this channel, we explore the strategies, tools, and tactics that you can implement on a daily basis in order to be your best and overachieve on a consistent basis. Now I'm currently undertaking a 47 videos in 47 days challenge, which I've set for myself. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring who my favorite street artist is, how I came about him, and how many pieces of art I've collected of his over the last few years. That being said, who is Nathan Bowen? Now I first came across Nathan Bowen in 2012 when he was featured on The Apprentice as one of their tasks to work with um, a street artist. And Nathan was one of the street artist features. He was based in East London and one of his um, signature pieces of street art is uh, called The Demons. I got drawn to his art pieces, The Demons, one of which you see behind me, and actually which was featured on the show because I like the gritty kind of haphazard style that they represent. After watching The Apprentice, I then reached out to Nathan on Instagram and managed to snag a couple of the pieces of art that were featured in his guest appearance on The Apprentice. Over the last 10 years, I've been following Nathan's trajectory as an artist, and some of the work that he's produced has been absolutely amazing, to the point where now I've collected, I think maybe 10 or 12 pieces of his art, and inevitably I will continue to collect more of his as he produces them. Nathan's work can also be seen around the country as his signature style, is to fill up dead spaces in urban city centres. And I've spotted his work in Watford, in Brighton, in London, in Manchester. And if you follow his Instagram channel, you'll be able to see where he plots up. He doesn't just go national, he goes international as well. And you'll see his little demons, little builder demons pop up everywhere. He was particularly active during lockdown. And as his brand and popularity continues to grow, I'm really looking forward to what additional pieces of art that he's gonna produce. That being said, let me take you on a little tour of the pieces of art that I have collected this far and see what you think. All right, so these are the first two pieces of art that I collected uh, for Nathan Bowen. And um, this one here was featured on The Apprentice. And this one was uh, just a matching part of the set because you can see the beef eaters, you can see the demon style, which is this sort of style. I quite like the teddy bear and the um, paint splatter is all pretty cool. And on this one, I love the fact that the beef eaters were getting pissed on a London bus and the decoration on the bus. So you can see these demons and Nathan's signature style, they look pretty cool. This is the third piece of art that I was bought for my birthday. You can see demon style, demon builder, I inspired. I used to have this hanging above my desk, looking at it when I needed some inspiration to ask the question. Quite like this, but you can see the standard Nathan demon builder style, which is super cool. So after purchasing some demon builders and beef eaters, I was on a little bit of a hiatus for years. And then I came across this pink panther with a couple of demons hanging in the background. You can see it's a similar sort of style. This is the demons, like the paint sort outline. But I like this because it's nice and vibrant in color. You can see demon stars here as well, which is super cool. Uh, but this is nice and bright and currently hangs in my. We jump into this, which is my Mickey Mouse 40th birthday present. As you can see, you can see the <laughs> demon star smile. It looks super cool. I quite like the dark colors mixed with a bit of vibrancy. And obviously, 40 years the new awesome. Yes, I am 41 now. A cartoon characters, we've got the Pink Panther as well which is awesome. Then we've got a set, so you've already seen the Demon Builder. Uh, we've got a couple of tribal pieces as well, which is cool, Demon Builder style, nice and colorful. I like this one as well. It came as a set, but we stuck the Demon Builder in the middle of these three. Another addition to the collection was Afro Guy. It was cool because I like the background colors and obviously Gold Teeth, Gold Medallion, like a Run DMC character. It's a collaboration between Nathan Bone and Blackmore as well. And last but not least, we've got some frame pieces. Brit Afro guy with eye and spine on his chest. Nice vibrant colors on the white background. Standard beef eater. I think this is one of our favorites because it's plain and simple, but really shows Nathan's traditional style. 
and then we've got Bob on the guitar, who's pretty cool. All right guys, there you have it. A little whistle stop tour around my Nathan Bone art collection, which I currently have my home. As you can see, his style is quite varied, but it's got consistency throughout and that demon style, sort of pencil sketching, uh, which I quite like. Um, looking forward to collecting more pieces of his art. I'll stick Nathan's um, IG handle in the description so you can check it out yourself, as well as his um, online gallery in case you wanna purchase uh, a piece of his art direct. Hopefully you've got um, some inspiration as to the type of art that you can put up around your home. I made this video because I'm super happy with the art that I've collected from Nathan Bone and hopefully, you know, inspires you to collect a piece of his as well. Um, he needs, he's an artist that should get more recognition than he does. Obviously he's got quite a few pieces uh, around the UK which are available for public consumption. So if you do come across his art, make sure you take a picture and tag him on IG, stick him in your stories, give him a shout out. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more videos about high performance habits that help you become your best and achieve better than expected results in business, fitness and life, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you have any feedback on this video or any other videos on the channel, make sure you drop a comment below. If you like this video and you wanna see more, Make sure you watch this next video as part of my 47 videos in 47 days challenge and hopefully I'll see you next time.